Hello there, Virgos. Welcome to your July. Um, another thing that I'm feeling for you is that there is going to be opportunities here, and I do see heavy, heavy travel energy. So this is a card overall of expansion, okay? And what it indicates overall is I feel some of you are thinking about a major trip that you're planning to take. It might not be the uh, the month of July. It might be further on later on sometime this year. And I feel like, you know, from now until the October time frame. And you're trying to see if there is adequate funds in order to undertake this um, trip, this vacation, this um, endeavor. Okay, so I feel like there is um, contemplations overall of a major trip that you're trying to save up money from uh, for. And I feel that a lot of you will be traveling with another person. And this is going to be something that will, they're saying like a, a very soulful connection. If, if you're traveling with another person, it's going to open you up for a myriad of new experiences. It's really going to be emotionally very fulfilling. And I feel that there will be a lot of heartfelt, soulful connection, uh, communication as well coming through as a result of you embarking on a trip with another person. Um, what I do sense as well is, um, first of all, it feels to me as if especially for those of you who have been in the field of service, okay? If you have been uh, working to serve other people, so for example, a pu public servant, a civil servant, uh, a teacher, a community organizer, if your job involves taking care of other people, um, teaching people, serving other people in some way, I do feel that a big part of you, I, I'm sensing like there will be opportunities for you to do more with that, okay? So there is, um, it's like taking on additional responsibilities, doing something because we believe in the good of it, and we believe that we're able to help other people, and so we're taking on this additional endeavor even though um, we have a lot on our plate already. So I feel like some of you are being pulled and cold and cultivated for a position where you're going to be able to give back to other people. And you might have, first of all, you might have shrugged off, you know, that, that endeavor, mainly because you're just like, no, I don't know if I want to be in the spotlight. I want to work behind the scenes. I'm not comfortable with, you know, uh, putting myself out there, putting my agenda out there. And so you might even doubt your skills. And I do feel there's an element, a huge, huge element here about public speaking, about having to state your case, even though there's a lot of people opposing you, okay? So this is kind of like prying the answers from the lion's mouth. The people that you're dealing with as well, I feel like they don't have, they're lacking the, the confidence, they're lacking the communication skills, or even the cognitive skills to really... Uh, communicate in a meaningful way and and I feel like they're shying away from conflict as well they don't really want to say what's on their mind and I do sense overall that you're gonna be in a position where you're gently guiding them so that they can find a sense of direction so I feel like a lot of you are working either with people who are very marginalized impoverished working with children even that might not have the vocabulary to state what they want and what they need or you're working with somebody you're dealing with somebody that has been through some type of depression emotional trauma and you're providing the tools for them to be able to overcome their fears overcome their anxieties overcome you know this sense of worthlessness so that they can give themselves a voice and they can also be heard okay so i'm sensing many of you are going to be do working in this capacity where you're empowering other people to do something by providing them the either the financial resources the inspiration the emotional support so that they can get things moving for themselves and that they can free themselves from you know this self-imposed prison okay this uh this sense of like oh i'm not good enough or this sense of like feeling very trapped in their circumstances okay so you're battling for other people you're battling to promote a specific agenda and you're battling for the greater good on your own you definitely need some type of mentorship okay you need to bounce ideas off another person that has been there has done that and is trying to you know that that can give you that outsider's perspective that can give you the wisdom and the insights okay 
So I'm sensing that sometime for this month, there will be somebody that fits the mold that will be in the picture for you. Could be a supervisor that you have right now. It could be, you know, somebody that has traveled a lot and have even started their own company, their own um, organization, their own nonprofit, their own, you know, their own thing that somebody who has made it. And they're, they're a great source of inspiration and a wealth of knowledge as well because they see you with a lot of possibilities, with a lot of ideas, but they're, they're not seeing that connection that you're making, okay? So I feel like you have somebody that's going to be coming into the picture to give you that type of inspiration. The last thing that I want to end on this note is um, I'm drawn to this card here. And the Six of Pentacles <clears throat> basically indicates to me a financial windfall, uh, a big financial windfall. And I feel like for some of you, there might have been some situation where um, I feel like there might have been some type, somebody that passed away in the past, okay? This could be like back in May. This could be even last year. But there might have been some disputes about inheritance, about, you know, uh, the terms on the will, the terms of the contract, or, or some things not sorted out. And so this is the month in which um, things that are hidden as it concerns money, as it concerns investment, as it concerns inheritances, all of those things will be coming to light. And it will help you resolve a lot of issues concerning finances, concerning money. And what I'm also seeing as well is information will also come to light as it concerns the work that you're doing and whether or not you should stay or you should pursue other opportunities. Because I feel like you're being pushed to do something more, to do something bigger and greater. And there's a lot of fears and anxieties within you. You know, you don't want to be on the on center stage. You want to work behind the scenes. You want to make things okay for the people that wants to, you know, uh, be in the limelight. You want to be the person that takes care of logistics, takes care of things so that whoever wants to steal the limelight can kind of shine on top. And you want to work behind the scenes. You want to be a, um, you want to have that, you know, very low key lifestyle. And I feel that you're being groomed for a lot more. And you need to embrace that because I feel that from the top down, if you're able to give yourself that leverage to rise to the top, you can make a lot of good sweeping changes for all the people at the bottom. You can enhance productivity. You can do things really well. You can provide mentorship. And you can also create that structure, that foundation for other people, okay? So think of it in a way, it's like, we're not here to hog the limelight, but I feel that that might be the most meaningful way for you to give back. So if giving back is kind of like, you know, your mentality, think of it as I'm giving back in a way where it's not about charity, it's about organizational efficiency, being productive. So, so you would be in a way creating that structure for other people so that they can be a lot more productive, so that they can be a lot more, um, so that they, they come to work with a sense of purpose, with a sense of guidance that you're providing for them, okay? So, Virgos, um, I wish you all the best for this month. I feel like there are a lot of like soul searching that you have been doing for the past few months, and I feel like there's a lot of clarity that's going to be coming through for you guys, okay? So, best of luck, and um, let's move on here to your love reading. like for those of you in stable relationships um so if you have a relationship partner and especially um it might or might not even be you know stable but i feel like there is if you have a relationship partner there is a lot of communication that is very positive um to allow you to connect with one another okay 
um, it's linked up here with the high priestess. So first of all, the high priestess basically um, indicates a revelation, something that um, we our eyes are open to and something that we start to... It, it's been there all along, but for some reason I feel like there's a major breakthrough happening in the July time frame where a lot of you are thinking about taking the relationship to the next level, proposing as well as uh, revealing how you truly feel about another person and having the emotions and the commitment kind of like bounce back at you where the other person feels the same way. And it's coupled up here with the Two of Cups. And the Two of Cups basically means a situation where two people are on the same mindset. They're committed to each other. And so I feel like there might even be a, a union, marriage, engagement, and things like that in store for you guys, okay? And that's for people who are in a coupled relationship. Um, in the past, what we have here is the sun and the knight of wands. A lot of you have been dealing with a person that is a fire sign, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. And for some of you, this person might have been still like, you know, they're still in your life and you're trying to work things out and you're trying to you know, hash your, out your differences with this person. For others, this is somebody already in the past that you have kind of allowed to drift away. And I feel for some of you, this is um, somebody that, you know, you might have been engaged to, you might have lived together, you might have made plans for the future together. But there were a lot of ego issues like power struggle, power dynamics within the relationship. The other person might be a little bit too independent and you felt that their independence uh, threatened the stability of the relationship. And then likewise, I feel like they're so independent that the relationship felt like it was stifling, felt like it was too much, felt like it really curbed their independence. Like they, ha in order for them to stay in it, they had to watch their tongue, watch what they say. They had to, you know, curtail their individuality or their own sense of independence in order to cater to the relationship. And I feel like a big part of you, I, I do sense power struggle. I do sense like... Um, you know, just a, an, an energy where it was very exciting. It was very dynamic. And the other person, I don't feel like they're a bad person. They're just very brutally honest and brutally stubborn. And you yourself, you have a tendency to be very stubborn and hold to, to like really hold firm, like to dig your heels in the sand, you know. When you have made up your mind about a specific thing, about a, a specific position, you tend to be very stubborn too. So I feel like there were major power struggles, major clashes of ego in this past relationship. Um, I do sense overall that some of you will get communication from your ex. And um, they're really telling you to be careful of this energy, especially because it was something very fun, very exciting, very um, dynamic. And, you know, it was just like this rush of energy that you don't often get with a lot of people. So this person knows how to bring that out in you. This person is very fun, exciting, dramatic is what I'm sensing. Um, Might have been, you know, I feel like um, for a lot of you, it's just um, the Leo energy comes up, the Aries energy comes up. Um, but fire sign, so Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo, or they might not even be a fire sign, just exhibit the energy of someone who's very dynamic. Um, I feel, though, from your end, this is kind of here, the uh, Queen of Pentacles. And we have, as well, the world. Especially for those of you who are involved with another Earth sign, so a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Um, this is somebody who is like, their world is starting to open up. So career-wise, they might be, you know, um, making a lot of traction, making a lot of uh, positive, like, uh, breakthroughs in their career. Um, they're also going to be possibly uh, traveling a lot as well. So I feel like that's going to put a little bit of a wrench in the works when you're trying to build a relationship and the other person is physically not there. So I feel like some of you have some anxieties overall. 
uh, as it concerns or relate to a partner who has to travel a lot, possibly for business, even pleasure. But I feel like travel is indicated here and it might create a little bit of um, insecurity in your existing relationships. But I feel like the heart of it is that, you know, you, you have somebody that you really care about that that is willing always to meet you halfway. So they're saying, you know, calm your anxieties, calm, calm your worries, because I feel like they're always going to come back. They're always going to meet you halfway. You're, you're the person that they trust and love, and they're always going to, you know, rely on you to be the person that they can bounce ideas off of. So they're saying not to fret and not to worry if you're in this predicament, okay? The foundation deals with some things that you already know. We have here the hermit. And we have here the moon. I'm sensing that some of you, you're in a relationship and you're trying, you're questioning um, your partner's honesty, you're questioning your partner's integrity, you're questioning your partner's intentions. Um, and once again, we have here the hermit is like digging for information, looking through cell phones, looking through um, emails, looking through. I want to say, like, I'm feeling some of you might be looking through computers, databases. What is coming through for you here is the Seven of Cups. And the Seven of Cups overall is um, expectations coming back. It's like the, the, um, the Seven of Cups deals with, like, fantasy. It's like fantasy coming down to reality. Okay, And we have, as well, the Nine of Cups. I feel for people in relationships... There is going to be um, a lot of, you know, showering of gifts. I feel proposals happening for many of you. And um, I honestly feel like if your partner is doing something where you're just like, I wonder what they're up to. They tell me they're supposed to be here at 3 o'clock, but they're somewhere else. So you've had some type of uh, mistrust in your partner, but I feel like they're planning something big for you. And I also feel a lot of gifts, a lot of things being showered upon you for this month of July from your significant other. If you are newly dating and you're seeing multiple people and you're trying to, you know, find somebody that really jives well with you, I feel like this is the month in which people will come in with a lot of trinkets, with a lot of um, tokens of affection, okay, flowers, candy, uh, little gifts here and there, and I feel like it will really make you feel good and it will soothe your anxieties people who are single you are definitely doing some type of online dating so this is pretty much you know virtual reality here that fantasy card so this is communicating at a distance from somebody and um, I feel like you have somebody that you really like and I feel like it might be for some of you fire sign so Sagittarius Aries Leo and uh, we have an earth sign that's in the picture as well so this is a Virgo, another Virgo, a Capricorn, or a, um, I'm sorry, what's the, a, a Taurus, okay? So you have options here, and I feel like somebody has already caught your eyes, Virgos, and I feel like this person, um, I, I'm sensing that they are very, very ladylike, you know, so they could be very ladylike or very gentlemanly. They're, they have really good manners. They're very soft-spoken, and I feel like they're not shy or, you know, passive-aggressive. It's just they have really good manners. So I feel like you're encountering somebody that is right up your alley, very proper, very uh, well-mannered, good-natured, and just overall very proper. Find somebody that you can confide in and who has been there and done it professionally so that you can get some guidance, okay? Um, I wish you the best for a girl.